I could talk to the animals. Just imagine chatting with a chimpanzee. I used to work in software, and um, I had been travelling a lot. I was um, all over the place. And Northern Europe, Middle East, and Africa was my patch, and uh, I never had a chance to indulge my photography. Um, uh, hobby or, uh, or to have any pets myself because I just wasn't home enough and then I stopped doing that and took a few months off and I got my first digital camera and got a couple of cats and um, but the two kind of connected almost instantly and I um, recognised in the photos that I wasn't just getting images and physical likenesses of the animals I was photographing but I was actually capturing their personality and that wasn't something I previously considered um, but it's something that it really excited me and that's what I'm all about catching the personality of the animals I'm photographing. What sort of animals are you photographing at the moment? Um, well, the, the day job, so to speak, is people's pets. So uh, that's mostly dogs. We get a lot of cats coming in, and uh, I've got a snake coming in this afternoon, which I'm stupidly excited about. I love photographing snakes and birds. I just love photographing birds too. But we photograph any animals. Um, so we do a lot of stuff with, say, the RSPCA here in Queensland. Uh, we do the Hope Calendar for them every year, which goes out to their guardian angel supporters, and that includes lots of farmyard animals and lots of wildlife too. Um, and um, I uh, really, really, really enjoy working with the wildlife because it's something a bit different for me. Um, but, I mean, everyone knows, for example, what a koala looks like, but they don't really know what it's like to be with a koala. Um, and um, so when I'm photographing these animals, I want to try and get a, across what their personalities are like and what it's actually like to be in their presence. How do you go about shooting these animals? If someone brings in their dog, what's the process you go through? Because I guess it's not, just, it's not just a matter of pulling the camera out. There'd be so much that you have to do beforehand to to also get along with that dog, I'm guessing. No, absolutely, and uh, there's a, a big process before people even come into the studio with their pets. So uh, by the time someone's in the studio, I know the sort of photos they're looking for, and I know quite a lot about their, their pets and the relationship they have with their pets, um, and uh, what aspects of their personalities they want us to capture. When uh, an animal comes in the studio, I like to kind of get them moving about a little bit, you know, so we're throwing balls about, you know, getting them to chew their favourite toys. Um, they're generally running and jumping all over the studio as we're getting photos, and then Hopefully they, uh, I love it when they um, uh, lie down on the floor, rip something up, because it's just such a doggy thing to do. And I love, I'm just fascinated by the way they use their paws. <laughs> and then uh, we uh, uh, move on from that and we get some more of the kind of portraity shots where, you know, I'm interacting with them, I'm talking to them, I'm bribing them with food, I've still got the toys around. Um, just to, you know, just to, to capture, the, as I said, their personality, basically. They're, I've got an unusual technique for a photographer because I hold the camera in one hand, which any photography school will tell you, use both hands. But I use my left hand for, for communicating. So maybe I've got a toy or maybe I'm giving them a little bit of a cuddle. Um, but um, uh, um, uh, I'm just, you know, camera's in the right hand and something else is always in the left hand to help me work with the dogs. And um, that I'm often down on the floor being dragged. I'm thinking about a moment as l last year I was being dragged around the floor by a 55 kilo Rottweiler as we were playing tug, trying to get photos. And we got some great <laughs> shots of him playing tug, but he's nearly pulling my arm out of my socket. He was a big, strong boy. But we got some fabulous photos. It's not a real ball doing it. What's the hardest animal that you've had to photograph, or the, the most challenging, should I say? Um, I guess I'm thinking immediately about a frog I photographed once, and uh, people don't really think about frogs and personality, but this little guy who's just kind of sitting there beaming at the cameras, and uh, I feel like I captured that in the photo, which was, which was awesome. And uh, I, I had a couple of geese in with the RSPCA last year, and um, they took a bit of time to settle into the studio. Uh, There's quite a few people in the studio at that point, um, but um, I just loved the way that there was, it was a pair, a mated pair, and the, the female, um, she relaxed pretty quickly. And then you can see in the photo that she's actually feeling pretty chilled and relaxed. And, but the boy, he was, because his job is to defend his lady, and uh, he was on guard the whole time. And you can see this in the photo, he's all kind of standing up and erect and looking around. But kind of, uh, um, there was, that was kind of a challenge to, to, to get that aspect of their relationship captured. But uh, we got it, and I was really excited. <laughs> And they often say don't work with children and animals. What do you say to people when they say to you, you're, you're a, you photograph animals, like what are you doing? I'm remembering a session from a couple of years ago and uh, there's this lady and uh, she's got this gorgeous, uh, I think he's a Jack Russell, um, but he's one of these dogs who's just been through it, you know, and um, he's... Uh, he was born with a, a bad leg, so they had to amputate that when he was very young. Um, when he was a puppy, he got attacked by two bigger dogs, and um, they very nearly killed him, and he's got some severe scarring. 
Um, he's had various cancers, so he's got all these scars all over his body. And uh, he's also an elderly dog now. So, you know, he's, he's all wrinkly and he's got grey everywhere. And um, But he's got such a strong personality, it shines through. But she wanted some photographs with her young daughter as well. And her young daughter is a very pretty little girl. She's four. She loves pink. She loves ballet. And there she was in the studio with her pink ballet tutu on. And she had a little fairy wand. And she's sitting next to this. What is, you know, he's not the best looking dog in the world, let's be honest. But, it's, but the personality from both of them coming through together in that one photo was just fabulous. <laughs> what is it that you love most about what you do? The privilege of meeting so many um, wonderful, strong personalities that we have in our, uh, our doggy friends and other animals too, because they all have their own unique personality, and some of them have such strong personalities. Um, but also just um, seeing the connection that people have with their pets, it's just a beautiful thing. And, uh, and just um, it's very rewarding when people um, have received their artwork and uh, they're just about to put it up on their walls. And just, they can, it can be an emotional time because people just think, right, I've got a slice of them there, we catch it forever, and they'll always be with me in certain ways. And um, uh, that, that's a very special moment when that happens. To me.